Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping haul. So this week is quite a big haul because I didn't go shopping last week. I just did the odd top up shop because I'd bought a lot the previous week. So there is a lot here. It's also Easter and the start of the school holidays plus my sister's visiting. We've got people over for dinner tonight. So it's quite a big shop but I went to Sainsbury's and I will take you through everything I bought. Let you know how much things cost. I also did a muscle food order which is where I like to get my chicken and things like chicken breast. So I'll pop that in at the end if you're interested in watching but if not you can always switch off after this bit. It's up to you completely. That's why I thought I'd stick it in at the end. It's not an advert. Paid for with my own money but I know some people like to see what muscle food are offering at the moment. So we'll start off with the fruit and veg. Got onions some peppers and iceberg lettuce i got a cucumber and then two lots of these chantonet carrots i'm actually roasting all of these tonight so they were like reduced 64p i've got some leeks for the chicken bacon and leek pie i'm making two lots of potatoes these are actually 15p a bag and they're two kilos it's funny because little are doing that at the moment as well so i'm going to do mash tonight to top this pie and then we'll probably do oh, i am doing a roast actually Stanford Street Co grapes, these are really good, they're like £1.59. Then over here I bought two packs of chicken thigh fillets. I get chicken breast from Muscle Food, but the chicken thighs, they, they don't do them actually unless they're flavoured. So I think these were £5.69 for a pack. So I got two of those. I got some smoked paprika. I always try and buy this big one, it's like £1.25. And then I got a joint of roasting beef. So this is a lean beef, what does it say? Top rump, I believe it says somewhere. Um, mature for 21 days, Irish beef, and this was half price, so it should have been 18.84, and it was £9.42. So I'm going to do a really nice roast beef dinner. We have not had beef for ages, so we're going to have roast beef, roast beef dinner one night. I got two lots of ribs. We actually have tried the muscle food ribs that you'll see at the end, and they were really good, but we only got one pack, so we decided we'd like to have it as like a proper meal one night. So. I might do it like similar to this with some coleslaw and some chips. I make up my own slaw, some chips. These were £6.50 and they were on offer. I think they were like £4.15. So I thought that was quite a good price. I'd probably do some like chicken char grills or something alongside it because obviously they only serve two and there's five of us. But we can, we can add bits. Twinkle cut chips. I got four tins of tuna. This is 65p a tin. I always like to get the one in brine and I'm also always really happy when they've got the ring point. You don't have to open them. Marmite. Ridiculous now. I mean £3.35 and Lidl have stopped doing it in our store. They don't do their own one which is the closest one to Marmite I've ever found. They have discontinued it. This is actually Elton John Marmite which is really interesting. Um, well it's not really is it but there you go. Uh, it's a uh, it's for charity, it's for the Elton John charity, but that was just the only one they had. I got six tins of baked beans and sausages. These are 57p and my son does a really early shift and he likes to get up and just heat these up for his breakfast because he's pretty lazy to be fair. Um, and it's just quick in the morning. So I got myself a tin of soup for lunch because I'm crazy busy today. I got a tin of coconut milk, they only had the lighter one. So I got that, that was 79p. And I've got some red Thai curry paste, so I'm going to make a red Thai curry as well. Two enchilada kits. These were £2.60 each. So I'm going to obviously make enchiladas one day. And a four pack of baked beans. I also got some wine, because like I said, it's Easter weekend. And we've got people visiting and also people coming for dinner. And it's just the Easter weekend, so why not? They are doing in Sainsbury's at the moment. You can get six bottles and they're 25% off if you buy six or more. So I bought six bottles and it worked out a really good price. So I got um, so I got a Shiraz, a Malbec and another Shiraz. Just picked up different ones that looked like really good and they were like on a good offer. And then this is my favourite white. This is the Yellen Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. Such a nice wine. This is usually £10.50 a bottle. It was on offer at £8 a bottle and then you got £2 off of that, so £6 a bottle, which is crazy. So we've got a nice little stash of that. Got some bacon, this is the cooking bacon that I often buy. Um, comes out really good actually and it's only a pound and that's what a pie I'm making. Cheese strings are £1.25 for four, so I've got two of those. Pepper armies, they were £2.25 for five, so I've got some of the Tripto ones and some original. And then somewhere... I got some baby bell, there's 12 in there and they were £2.50. So over this side, I got some extra mature Pilgrim's Choice. This was £4 instead of £5.50. A light creme fraiche for the pie I'm making. 
The Butter Soft is £2.19. It's like a fake lure pack. I always get the lighter one. The only thing is, it's so slippery. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but it, <laughs> it literally just slides off the knife all the time. Some of the Stamford Street Co Ham. This one's actually really nice. Massive thing of rice, because since using the pressure cooker to cook it, I just make rice all the time. We've always got it in the fridge. The Oreo desserts. These are four for £1.75. And again, I keep saying about the pie for tonight, but I needed stock pots. So I've got white wine stock pots for that because I don't want to put like expensive wine. Don't want to open a bottle of expensive wine just to pour it in a pie. So I got the stock pots. My favourite tea, which is the Yorkshire Tea Toast and Jam. This was £2.30. I think you get 40 in there, do you? Yeah, 40 tea bags. Uh, doggy treats, some bread, which is 75p for their extra soft white toasty one. And then two Oatly, this, this is the organic one, but it was £1.50 instead of £2.15, so I've got two of those. So we've got some free range eggs. I don't know why I'm showing you, because you know what eggs look like. There you go. <laughs> free range eggs. Um, two lots of tortillas, these are 99p. These I absolutely love. I have these a lot of days. For, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> no, it's gone. I have these a lot of days for breakfast. They were £1.15 instead of £1.50, I believe. So we've got some Kit Kats. These were nine. These are the white chocolate ones. They're only the two finger, but they were £1.25. Seven salted caramel clubs. They were a pound. And then I got some Harry Bows for the boys, who probably watched my hauls before. Even though I've got teenage boys, I still always like to leave my little treat on their beds when I've been shopping or when I go anywhere. So I got them some twin snakes today. These were £1.25 a bag. So I'd usually get chocolate, but it's Easter and chocolate is coming, isn't it? Um, and guess who these are for? It's only a small bag. I say small, it's like 70 grams. Um, these are my absolute favourite sweet in the entire world. Only the Sainsbury's ones. Can't be from anywhere else and they have to have been in the fridge and I usually take these if I go to the cinema. <laughs> I just love them. So yeah, I got some of those. They're only like 70p. And then obviously it's Easter. So Steve and I have got these ones for the boys, these Cadbury Dairy Milk. We used to do a massive Easter egg hunts and hide them all around the house and that, but they're just too big now. So uh, we got them one of those each. And then I got these for my youngest son from the older two so they can pay me for those because he's already bought their eggs but obviously they haven't got his yet because they're so busy working reed can't be bothered so <laughs> that's for, that's for them that's easter sorted steve and i don't do eggs because we don't really want them so i got some chocky chocky dodger minis there's six packs in here i mean i must admit it shows four there probably literally only is oh yes i say <laughs> four dodgers per pack and they are tiny um, but six bags and I think they were 90p so that's really good and then some double chock Maryland minis the same these were 90p for six bags what I did think was good was the Belvita I usually pay three pounds for the bigger pack and I think you get 10 packs in there so it works out like 30p a pack but these um, were on offer at a pound and you get five in each one so it's only costing you 20p per pack of biscuits my brain just works like that I, I work things out so things work out good so you get five packs of four biscuits for a pound so I got some honey and nut two of those and two of the what is it cocoa with chocolate chips crisps we are completely out I swear I don't know what they do with crisps they just think it's just easy food I suppose isn't it but anyway they've gone up so much but these are one pound 35 for six the ridge crisps so I've got the variety and the um, beef steak or grilled steak Hula Hoop Puff, cheese and onion flavour. I thought I'd get those for a change. They were £1.50 for six. The mini cheddars, these are smoked paprika and cheddar. Are they? Yeah. And how many do you get in there? Oh, there's six in there. Do you know what though? They feel incredibly light. Like for mini cheddars, it doesn't feel. I mean, yeah, I would even question whether there's actually six in there. I'm not convinced, but anyway. 30% less fat, yeah, probably because there's 30% less in there. They were a pound, so not too bad. And then the prawn cocktail, just plain ones, but that's one of my boys' favourite flavours. Yeah, £1.35. Toilet roll, I got some of these. They were £3.50 on the Nectar deal instead of £4. I got myself a notebook. I absolutely love stationery, but only if it's on offer. I'm like not someone who spends a fortune on it. Like I won't go and like I won't go and waste money on it, but 
this notebook I think was one pound reduced like one pound 25 or something and then I got myself a little pen which was also a pound so that's that because I'm always starting new projects and plans and I need them for work and I just I love notebooks toothbrush for cleaning retainers with that was handy I think it was like one pound 25 I got a I wanted method but it was four pound and this was two pound 25 and this is rhubarb and lemon zest which sounds nice so I've got that I got an orange lemon and pineapple four times squash. I've just given up complaining that they've changed it to that. I mean, they changed it to that about two years ago, but I still struggle to put the right amount in. Um, I can't remember how much squash is now, actually. I think it's around 120. I'm not sure. <sighs> I got Steve a deodorant and it was £3.25. So not the best offer, but it's better than a fiver, isn't it? Which is what they are originally. I kind of gripped my teeth and put it in, <laughs> slung it in the trolley in disgust. Um, I got a right guard because my other boys are not fussed, so they don't mind. I think this was like £1.50. Um, I also got a pack of three Febreze plug-in things. I've got the plug-in thing. What is it? It's an air freshener refill. That's what it is. And I've actually got the plug-in that goes in the wall, so I just needed the refills. These are £4 each. You could get two for seven pound, or they were doing three for eight pound fifty. So I thought I'd get three. Toothpaste was like a pound. Boys all have their own like pull out drawers with their own toothpaste in, and then they keep their own shower gel and their own hairbrushes and toothbrushes and all that in their own separate like pull out drawers because they'll just fight who left the lid off, who got water in it, who didn't, who squeezed it in the middle. So it's just easier if I have one each. I got some Surf Tropical Lily, this was £3.50. I got a Febreze Vanilla and Magnolia, it was £2.50 and I normally don't buy the Febreze one but I have decided that I'm going to because I really like the smell and it's really worth it if you, it really lasts and whenever you spray it you like the whole house smells nice so I was like I'm just going to buy it. Um, I think I washed up liquid. This one is obviously a Christmas one, but it's spiced plum and pomegranate. So I thought that was quite nice. That was like 62p. And a Lenore Wellbeing Ocean Mist, that was like £2. So that is everything I got from Sainsbury's. And as I've probably popped on the thumbnail, I did end up spending £200. Um, it was pretty much spot on. I think it was like 201.64. It started off quite a bit more than that I think it started off around 250 and by the time all the nectar deals came off and the money off for the wine and I had a £4.50 voucher it dropped down to just 200 ish so it's a lot it's more than I would normally spend but we have bought six bottles of wine which I would never normally do and we have bought easter eggs which bump the price up plus like a joint of beef all these things I don't necessarily always buy but anyway, so meals this week, I'm going to be doing, like I said, we're going to have probably, I might even do like some tandoori chicken thighs with some of the ribs and then some like slaw and chips. I'm going to make a really nice roast beef dinner. We're going to have enchiladas. Tonight we're having chicken leek and bacon mash topped pie with roasted, honey roasted chantonet carrots. So we've got quite a few meals. I've also got tons of the farm food stuff left in the freezer. So I've got pizzas, I've got... I've got pizzas, I've got chicken, I've got like Kiev's, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop in what I ordered and bought from Muscle Food. If you want to see that, then keep watching. If not, thank you for watching it this far. Just sort of pop in what I've ordered from Muscle Food. I I've been meaning to do this for ages, but I keep forgetting. And I do really like their chicken. This isn't sponsored, but I do have to mention that I have worked with them in the past for transparency. But this is all my own money and my own opinions. So... Chicken breast, I got, it says two and a half kilo. Yeah, I bought five kilos, three lots, so 15 kilos of chicken breast, basically. Um, I'm gonna portion all this up and put it in freezer bags and then pop it in the freezer. It works out slightly less than six pound a kilo, which is pretty much what it is in supermarkets at the moment. But these chicken breasts are actually really nice. It's really good quality and the chicken breasts are quite uniformly sized, if that makes sense. So they're all around 200 grams, whereas sometimes when you buy them from other places, they are like a lot bigger and you have to chop them up. So that's why I like this. Plus it is delivered to your door. And if you spend so much, things over like 75 pounds, you get a free delivery or a pound delivery. So yeah, this worked out just less than six pound a kilo for the chicken. That'll keep us going for ages. 
And then they had a few other offers. I didn't buy loads of stuff, but I got some of these chicken and chili sausages. So you get 12, 12 chipolata sausages. They're really, really nice. They're like 80% chicken breast, and then the rest of it is like seasonings and spices and things. I actually prefer these to the Hex sausages. They often do offers, which they did this time. These were three for six pounds, so it worked out two pound a pack for 12 chicken and chili sausages. And then these are really, really nice. These sticky Italian style sausages. They're actually really, really spicy and they're sweet. Again, they're like little dumpy ones, these ones. They were two pound a pack as well. These work really nicely if you're gonna make like a sausage bolognese or a sausage pasta bake. So I've got those, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer as well. Lean pork mince, this is 2 99 for 400 grams, but it's 2% fat rather than 5% fat, which is what I normally get in the supermarkets. And again, I use this for scotch eggs, and it's my favourite mince that I use, if you can have a favourite mince. And then because I spent over, I think it might have been £75, something like that, I got a free pack of these Muscle Food Cook It barbecue pork ribs, and they were supposed to be £4.50 or something like that, so I thought that was quite good. I mean, some like, little free gift there. So, yeah, that's everything I got for muscle food. And I now have got the fun job of portioning all this up and putting it in the freezer. So I bagged it all up. I've done it in one kilo bags or like five pieces per bag. Luckily, I've got a chest freezer so I can fit all this in. Um, and then this one had six pieces. <laughs> so then I can just take a bag out at a time. So that is it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a like and please hit subscribe if you enjoy my content. All of the meals that I've mentioned will be in an upcoming like meals of the week video. And I'll be doing some more recipe videos soon as well. So I will be back very soon with another video. Until then, take care guys. It's what you do.